What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to edit any PDF file here on your iPhone device. And do not worry because this tutorial is also valid for Android phones. So if you have an Android phone, do not worry. The software I'm gonna use is the same, the application in this case, and this should work for you. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tutorials. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, the very first thing we're going to be doing in here is we're going to be opening up our app store in here. And then we need to download an app known as WPS, right? This is the name of the app WPS. I've been using it a lot. Okay. So this is the app WPS office. You just need to download it in order to edit any PDF file that you've got here on your device. So I've already downloaded it and I've installed it. Once you've done downloading it, simply tap on open in here. And this is how your WPS office should look like. Okay, let me just quickly increase a bit of my brightness in here. So once you're done logging in, it's gonna ask you to simply select an account. Okay, in my case, I'm using my Apple ID. That's the easiest way here to proceed here with the process. Now, next up, once you're already here, on the app going straight into the process simply tap here on the top right corner in here you've got a folder right simply tap on it and then you need to browse and select your specific file that you wish to edit right in my case i want to edit for example this document right here which is saved as an authority letter let me decrease my brightness real quick this is how my file looks like right so here we go i've got my file in here and i want to edit it so what i'm going to be doing next is simply tap here on edit at the top left corner of the document and as you can see now that i've tapped on edit it now shows me sections of the specific file so as you can see in here we've got this sections here which have been highlighted right for example we've got in here this section of text and then we've got in here this section of text this one, this one, and other sections as well. And then you've got in here an image, right? So what it did is select all the sections having text because at the bottom here, as you can see, we've got an option which says edit text. If I simply tap on edit image, it's gonna automatically locate every image that I've got here on my document and it's gonna show me. For example, now it's highlighting my signature because it's an image, right? So let's quickly go back into edit text section as if we wanna edit a text file. Now, suppose I wanna edit this section right here. I simply need to tap on it once and then simply tap here on edit. For example, if I wanna edit the text and let's say that I wanna change this phone number that I've got in here. Simple, let me quickly just delete okay using my keyboard and now i can simply type in any number let's go one two three four five six seven eight and then boom here we go i'm out of the text box and the number has been edited successfully you can also edit the size of the text you can increase the font you can decrease the font you can change the format like if you want to change the specific font you want to change the color of the specific text you want to make it bold or something else you can actually do it right here. Italic, we've got underlining, we've got a strike through if you want to strike through that specific text. And once you're done, simply tap here on the document and you should be out of that specific text box. Now, suppose you wanna add your signature, okay? Let's pretend that I do not have any signature in here. Let me quickly tap here on edit image. Let me tap on this image. Let me tap on delete, right? So this is my document which came without a signature, for example, right? Let me say that I wanna add my signature in here. So what should I do? Pretty easy. All I need to do is simply tap on plus here at the top right corner. Next up, simply tap here on insert image or I can go with insert signature as well. Or you can also go with insert text if you wanna insert a brand new section of text. In my case, I'll be going with insert image, right? Why? Because I've got my signature already scanned as an image file. But in case you do not have, you can also sign it right now. You can tap on insert signature, for example, and you can simply sign over here. You can also do that, but that's something that I don't want to do because I already have my electronic signature here on my phone. So what I'll be doing is I'll tap here on add, of course, top right corner. Next up, simply tap on image 
and then I'm going to tap on photos, right? Because my image is saved on my gallery, right? So once I'm here, this is my signature, tap on it and then tap here on done. This is going to bring my signature here to the document as you can see. And next up, I just need to find a way of relocating the signature and bring it to the correct area in here. Okay, so simply tap on it once and then simply decrease the size of it. Let's decrease it, make it smaller. And then let me just zoom a bit since, since mobile phones have a smaller screen in here and then simply drag it all the way to this location right here. Boom here we go i'm going to increase a bit the size just a bit more bring it to the center and here we go tap it here outside of the document and here we go i've got my document ready here already with the signature so you can pretty much do a lot of stuff in here with this app and avoid going to your computer in order to do this job right here for example you're rushing you've got a document to sign and you want to submit it really quick you do not have your computer this is the easiest and fastest way to edit your PDF document. Once you're done doing it, simply tap on done, tap here on X, and then simply tap here on save to save that specific document on the same location where you had it. Good to go, the document has been saved to my files folder and I'm good to go. Now, of course we do have other softwares or other applications that also help us doing this, but in my case, I found this one WPS very friendly and easy to use. That's why I do recommend you guys to use WPS because I've been using this specific application for more than three years. So I really find their tools very useful and they do save up a lot of time. This video is not sponsored by WPS. I've chosen and selected this application on my own based on my personal experience. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video and leave a comment down below if you have any doubts so I can get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shack and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.